Hi, my name is Barb Sackle and I'm putting out a line of 2D needle felted wall hangings and I wanted to show you a few of my techniques that I use in my patterns so when you refer to my patterns you'll have a clue of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to make a short tutorial here on making our mushroom. When you get the pattern you'll see that each piece of the pattern is numbered. What you're going to do is cut them out in sequential order and then wool as you go. So it'll be like paint by number, but wool by number. So let's get started. I cut out number one first, and then I'm going to center it. I have a five by seven piece of background that I made, and you will find that video um, available to you too. So I'm going to center my mushroom on my piece, and then I'm going to take stick pins and pin it in place then all I have to do is fill in this space. So, why don't you come in a little bit closer and I'll show you what I'm doing. To begin with, we're going to cut our roving and I have light and dark. And in my patterns I say cut one inch of roving and finger blend and I do a lot of finger blending and what that means is just basically pulling the roving apart and entangling it on itself. And so I have my pile of light, I have my pile of dark, and then I took both and worked them together until I got the mixture, which really turns out to a third color. Now I'm going to take my dark and place it along the bottom of my pattern, and you'll see that I'm overhanging the pattern a little bit, and that's fine. So now I have my dark in place because this is going to be the shaded part. I'm using my pen tool that has two needles and I'm going to introduce the wool into the background with short little jabs and notice that I'm at an angle. If I go straight up and down it doesn't catch it as nice for the first introduction. So I'm just going along and at an angle and gently stabbing the wool into the opening. Then I'm going to take my double needle and I'm going to drag it along the edge of my paper and this is really going to make my edge nice when I take the paper off and you can see I'm just dragging my needle pulling the fiber into the mushroom and now I have all the bottom part and now I can stab straight up and down and really immerse that fiber into the background. Sometimes if you have a long one, you can twirl your needle and kind of grab the fiber and introduce it in. Then I'm going to take my light and I'm going to lay this on the upper half of my mushroom cap. And I'm going to do the same thing, introducing the wool at a 45 degree angle and you're going to notice that I'm going to have a pretty visible line between my light and my dark. So let me just go along the edge and get my edge cleaned up. And this will just take a few seconds here. I want to move right along. But you can see that I have a pretty visible line between my light and my dark. Well, this is where the mixture comes in because I have light and dark finger blended and I'm going to take a very small almost see-through pieces and I'm going to lay it right on that line between the light and the dark and then I'm going to stab that in and that's what brings those two colorations into a nice smooth blend. So you would spend a little more time on this than I am and get that mushroom cap nice and flat but I'm going to move on. So I'm going to take my pattern and on the pattern of the mushroom you can see I have the numbers so I would cut out area number two next. I'll just cut that out quickly. I'm going to reposition it back on my background and pin it in place this time around this opening and now I'm going to introduce wool bat. That was roving and you can see the bat is already entangled so I don't have to do any finger blending. However, I do want to finger blend two colorations together to get that 
last little blend that we need to put the two colors together. So again, you can see that this acts much differently than the roving, and I'm just pulling it apart until you blend it until you get this. And if you get any little balls of color, just pull them out and get rid of those. So I'm going to take a little bit of pure dark and I'm going to place it under that mushroom cap because I want a nice shadow edge there. So I, and this actually needle felt a lot easier than the roving because it's so tangled, but that's why we tangle this up so that we can get it in there nice and easy. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of this and run it down one side um, because we're saying that the light comes from this direction. So it's going to, this side of the mushroom is going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm introducing the fiber. I'm going to take my needle and drag it so I get that nice clean edge. Then I'm going to pull off my light bat and place that right where it needs to go in the rest of that open space. I'm going to stab it in and then there we have that dark and light line again and we don't want that because that is not a nice shaded area. So let me get, clean up my edges here and then I'm going to go into my mixture and pull out little pieces again and lay those little pieces that have already been finger blended. Remember, these are almost see-through pieces. They're just very little, and you're just going to lay that between the two areas and softly needle it in so that the two areas are blended. And then, and you can work on that a little bit more, but I want to move along. And then lastly, I'm going to take some of my soft curls. Well, let me clean up this edge again. Remember, you can drag this fiber really nicely with if you just use the edge of the needle. And you can just pull that down and drag it really nice and clean up your edges. Pull it around, drag your needle. And then lastly, I'm going to just add a couple curls in the base just to add a little bit of texture and excitement around the base of the mushroom. So just a little bit of color. And if you want, you can add a little bit of red or another coloration just to ground. If you want to add a little background over the bottom of that to help hold in the curls. But basically, that's your mushroom and that's how you deal with all the different kinds of wool. Thank you for watching.